This brief video explains how to create a dichotomous or a dummy variable in R. As you know, there are two main types of variables, continuous variables and categorical variables. A continuous variable would be like age, where age could take any value, and a categorical variable could be dichotomous, multinomial or ordinal. We'll just look at the dichotomous, where um, the variable could only take one or two values, or maybe just two values. For example, employment status could be one if you are employed and zero if you are unemployed. So basically, we are assuming that you're familiar with R in R Studio. We will upload a, or we will open a data set in, in R and we will con convert a continuous variable into a dichotomous uh, variable. So switching to R Studio. We have uh, already pre-written our script um, in R Studio. We have a, a R script file open. Uh, essentially, we are uh, opening up uh, a data set called empty card. So I'm just going to control enter. The data set is opened. We'd like to know what variables are there. So we'll say names and we see that the, there are 10 variables, 10 or 11 variables. Um, we will attach this file uh, committed to the memory. And then once we commit it to the memory, we can plot a histogram and see that there is a distribution. So we would like to see variables, um, a new variable. And that takes uh, two values. One, if it's uh, um, less than uh, 20 miles per gallon, then it's zero. And if it's more than 20 miles per gallon, it becomes one. So the code is right there. We run the code. Um, we attach the file again and table, tabulate it. And we see that uh, the uh, two values are created. The new variable is mpg.gt.20. GT stands for greater than. So miles per gallon greater than 20. We see two values, zero and one. Um, and then um, it's created correctly. Notice that when we created the variable, we put the dollar sign uh, after the name of the data set. So that's this new variable is created in that particular data set. And when we were changing the values specifically for only those cases where the miles per gallon were greater than 20, we put these square brackets after this variable and data dollar variable name to indicate make this change only where miles per gallon is greater than 20 and when we tabulate it we get this right answer so here you go we took a continuous variable miles per gallon and converted it into a categorical or dichotomous variable